Hey everybody, how you doing? Nick Baldwin here, regional technology trainer for Michigan, Northern Ohio. And today I'm gonna to teach you guys how to create an email campaign, how to put together a beautiful template uh, that you wanna to send to your clients, whether it's um, to advertise listings or have them download your app, you know, whatever the case may be. I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. And the cool part is that if you're watching this before June 23rd, um, you still have to use MailChimp to send that out. If you're watching this after June 23rd, you don't have to use MailChimp anymore. You can use command email to send your beautiful email campaign template. So let's jump right in and show you how exactly it's done. So I'm in the campaigns portion of command. I'm going to click create a new campaign. I'm going to go to email. I'm going to call this one Facebook leads. And then I'm going to call it KW app because I want to send to some Facebook leads to get them to download my app. My goal is going to be other because I'm not advertising a listing or doing all that other stuff. And so this is what I was talking about before. Uh, after June 23rd, you will see command email as an option to run your campaign. If you're watching this beforehand, you still got to use MailChimp. So let's set up campaign. I'm going to use command email because I have it as a regional tech trainer. You'll be getting it real soon. Don't worry. Okay, email configuration steps. You can see your campaign name, the channel it's going to be sent out with, and then your recipient list. Now, what you're going to want to do here is you're going to want to create a list, right? And I have some lists in here already, but if you don't have a list, you need to create one and assign the people that you want to send the email to. Very easy to do. You click create, you give it a name, you can add people by name, email, or neighborhood, or you can click certain tags and choose those tags. And then when you select the tags, you select all or just select the certain groups of people individually and click confirm, and then your list will be uh, automatically created. Now I've already done it. I went through those steps and I have my lists here that I'm gonna use. So just to reiterate, you're gonna create a list, give your list a name, and then you can search a, different, a few different ways. You can search your list by name, individual names, by emails, um, by neighborhoods that people are assigned to, or you just search by tags, okay? And then when you find the people you want, you select them all and you confirm, and then they are now added to a brand new list or an existing list. Sweet, all right, let's move on. So the list I'm gonna use is Facebook leads, FB leads, I have a few different um, lists that I created for different Facebook people. I have about like, you know, 30 to 20 or 30 people on this specific list, okay? It's gonna be coming from me from my address and the subject is gonna be for the new KW app and I am going to call that uh, search or, or let's call it uh, the, new, the new way to search. We wanna give them a little bit of curiosity. Then we're gonna design the email. So we're gonna select, click select your template. I like this newsletter template, number two. I don't know, it's just my favorite. It's really clean. Um, you can select from one of two templates that KW supplies for you, or you can create your own in design. So I really like this one, so let's stick with it. Now what's super easy here is, uh, when you click the area you want to edit, just click it, and then over here to the left, it just brings you to it, right? So the email title is uh, the Keller Williams app, and then a subtitle, the new way to search for a home. And then you can see right up here, it updates in real time, you know? Looks really nice. Um, I actually also want to change my website address to my KW site. So buying my player. I can't talk and type at the same time. So when I'm typing, I'm just going to uh, I'm just going to type, and you guys will just follow along. I'm going to copy this app URL because that's what I'm going to use for all the call to action buttons. So I want to copy and then paste it as I need it. Um, DBA logo or market center logo, team logo, you know, whatever you want to add there uh, would be would be fine. Um, it's automatically there from your marketing profile, but you can change it if you like. 
So let's go down to the, let's go, let's do this. I want to show you what happens when I click section headline one. I click that, watch what happens on the right. Brings me right down to where I need to be. Um, so let me see which one I'm going to advertise first. I think I was going to do video tours. So I'm going to click browse files and I have, oh, this video tour uh, image I'm going to use that I got from designs and then I'm going to choose that and crop it. So let's crop the image and it shows up here and then it automatically shows up right here. looks really great. So this is going to be um, uh, request request a live video tour. Okay. And let's add a brief description. All right, there's my verbiage, and it updates in real time. Perfect. Hope there's no uh, typos there. <laughs> okay, so the button, uh, the button copy will say download now. Okay. Don't want to put exclamation points because exclamation points are kind of proven to turn people off. They're a little forceful, um, so I don't I don't add exclamation points. But I'm going to do the CTA link, call to action, and that's going to be my app. Great. Let's move on to the next part. Next section. I'm going to do the photo first just so I can see which feature I'm going to advertise in the next step. I think I was going to do, oh yeah, this one here. This is what locals are saying. So I took this from designs and let's crop the image. Now your photos have to be less than a megabyte. So you may have to edit them a little bit more before you upload them just so they fit. All right, so section headline is what the locals say. Oops, spelled that wrong. Oh, wait. No, I didn't. <laughs> I don't know half the time what I'm doing. All right, what the locals say. Let's do a little description. Oh, no, that's going to be the next one. The Keller Williams app has, sorry, real-time information So the Keller Williams app has real-time information on what people who live in the neighborhoods you're interested in are saying. Um, then we're going to give the, the ad copy button. Download now. And then we're going to throw in our call to action link again, which is my app link. Section three. Okay. This one was, I'm going to choose the photo first. And this one was, oh yeah, my neighborhood image. So by the way, guys, I made this in designs, okay? I took a screenshot of neighborhoods on my website. Then I threw one of the app images that designs has for you in stock photos. And then I threw in uh, this banner that says find your neighborhood. So I made this from scratch within designs. And it looks really nice once you add it into an email newsletter. See, looks really kind of cool. So this is, uh, I'm going to say find your neighborhood, for example. Now I'm going to set Williams as
All right. Keller Williams has partnered with the lo- with the social network next door to bring you home data on a hyper local level. Search by individual neighborhoods because a home search is more than just a zip code. Now we want the button copy download now, and then we're going to do the CTA link, which is my app link. Hey, okay, perfect, perfect, perfect. All right, so I'm almost done um with my editing okay just want to make sure team name nick baldwin and associates um and i've got my logos and everything i think looks pretty pretty good and let's just kind of go through it all make sure there's no typos and everything uh so you've got the first portion with the image for the requesting a live tour, what locals are saying, find your neighborhood. All everyone's got the de- every one of those has the download button. And perfect. Lots of calls to action. Let's apply the design. Oh, I have to fill out all the fields. I forgot. Designations. I'm just gonna say regional technology trainer. Okay, perfect. And that shows up. I forget where that shows up. Oh, right there. Okay, cool. Apply design. And you can preview your uh, image. This is on a desktop. This is on like a more of a mobile device, like an iPad. So that looks really nice. And you can save it as a draft or we just send it. So let's just, I've got everything here that I need to do to send it. And I'm just going to send. And there's 20, okay, so there's 20 people on this specific um list and i will send it now and done my campaign has been sent when my campaign is sent and people start to click i'll be able to see analytics so i'll give you an example of one from a while back that i sent um to my regional technology um my my market center tech drivers so you can preview the campaign and then it shows you insights. So you have to give it a a few hours and then you'll start to see insights, you know, total clicks, total opens, you know, and if anything bounced and how many emails were sent, which is pretty sweet. And then of course you can preview it again. So that is how you create an email campaign right in command. And like I said, if you're watching this after June 23rd, you will be able to use command email. You won't need MailChimp. If you're watching it before, like right now, you'll have to use MailChimp still. But just a few days away, and you'll be free from the shackles of MailChimp. Hope this helped you guys, and I will see you next time.